Do net guns not work on Gigas? Well. <laughs> well, that answers that question, eh? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with another Ark Fjorder episode for you all today. And today, guys, we are going to try and tackle taming a Giga. Now, I've got a lot of preparation to do. We don't have any resources that I need to make the stuff that I want. So I've got literally no, no spark powder, no gunpowder, uh, no narcotics, nothing like that. So we're going to need to do a little bit of grinding for resources and whatnot for the time being. But uh, we should be able to just speed through all of that. Now, before we get any further into the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And now that that's out of the way, I wanted to get your opinions on something. So I don't know if you guys have noticed recently that I've tried to cut down the Fjorda gameplay videos to under 20 minutes. That's ideally what I'm looking for at the moment, and I wanted to know whether or not you guys would enjoy them if they were still under 20 minutes. Uh, just because I'm comparing some stats on YouTube, looking at the average view duration and stuff like that, and I'm thinking under 20 minutes subpar is a decent amount of time. Um, and generally, when I record the videos, it takes about it takes about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on what I'm doing, to get what I want done. And then obviously, I try and condense that down into about a half an hour video. So let me know what you guys think about cutting the videos down to under 20 minutes is ideally what I'm going to be going for. Obviously, they might sometimes go over and stuff like that, but that is what I'm thinking. So let me know down in the comments whether or not you'd like the length of the videos to be that long. Um, yeah, so that that's my thought process. But right now, we're going to grab a bunch of narco berries. We are also going to go ahead and grab a bunch of flint and stone. I forgot to grab the RG. I knew I was looking for something. So we're going to do all of that. And then we're going to hopefully be able to make a bunch of tranks up and running. Uh, and then we're going to head out and we're going to try and tame ourselves a Giga. Now, we already have found the Giga. It's a level 90R Giga. So it's obviously not the greatest. But my thought process is if we can tame this guy up, uh, it's got, I think, 13 points in melee damage. So it's got decent melee damage. If we tame up the Giga, we can then go ahead and start trying to do the world bosses. For example, Baylor, we have plenty of rune stones to do so. So it's just a matter of getting something that can deal with Baylor, which the Giga's definitely capable of dealing with it. So let's go ahead. We're going to harvest up a bunch of resources. We're going to need a crap ton of narcotics. We're going to need a crap ton of gunpowder and flint and spark powder and metal and all that good stuff. So we're going to get into it. We're going to probably speed this up, do a little montage for you all, and then we'll bring you guys back when hopefully everything's ready. Alrighty guys, we've just made a chem bench. As you guys saw, we did a lot of farming. So doing everything through the mortar and pestle, it's uh, it's very time consuming. Obviously, if we get a chem bench up and running, things are going to go a lot faster. But good news is we should have more than enough resources now in order to do what we need. I was about to say, where's all the spark powder? So once we get this all up, we should be able to make a bunch of gunpowder. And then that will allow us to make the rifle bullets. Because I don't think I can make really many of them at the moment. Let's go 100. Yeah, see, I need the gunpowder, which is what we need the chem bench for. So once that's up and running, we'll be good. I don't think I have a long neck anywhere. And I don't think I have a blueprint for one either. Oh, this thing's a piece of beauty. We're not going to leave this here permanently. But for now, I can go there. Turn that bad boy on. Let's go. All right, so we're going to make as much gunpowder as we possibly can. We're going to go 1,000 of that. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't pull from the mortar and pestle? It's right here. Okay, whatever. We're just going to do it the manual way. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of metal cooking up at the moment. We've also got quite a lot of metal cooked due to us doing all the other stuff while we got the metal done. So that's great. Like I said, we should have a bunch of... We should have enough stuff in order to actually tame the Giga up now, I would imagine. Let's get that going. And then I'll grab the rest of this spark powder. Boom. But now that that's done, yeah, I think we can get the Giga. The only downside is, obviously, we're going to have to use a long neck. It's probably going to be super tedious just because we we don't have a higher tier one. So I think we're going to have to make a long neck. 
Unless, let's just, let's just pop this, let's see. Advanced transfer all, all, and then we'll see if we can go long neck. Yeah, okay. So we don't have a long neck. Kind of sucks. But, I mean, hopefully when we defeat the wild bosses, we should get some decent blueprints. Which is the main reason why I'm going after this Giga 4. Alright, so let's go. Ammo, we need to make a bunch of that. So let's just go 200. Bro, why isn't this grabbing from the chem bench? It's an S plus one. Yeah, it is. What the hell? I've got no idea why it's not grabbing from the chem bench. It's kind of annoying, but there's not much we can do about it. So let's get this whacked in. We're going to do all of this. We're going to get as much bullets as we can going. Um, and then hopefully this is worth it. Hopefully the Giga did have decent melee damage. It wasn't like obviously the highest, but it was decent. So let's make some rifle ammo. 104 bullets. All right, we'll see how we go. We're going to get all this up and running. Metal's cooking. We've got a ton of spark powder, a ton of charcoal because we harvested up wood and chucked it in the forge as well. Um, and we also are going to need some dino gates, I think. Just to keep the dude trapped. Oh man, I love these guys. Look at them. Absolutely terrifying. Alrighty guys, I'm pretty sure that we are good to go. Pretty sure being the key word here. So, we're heading out. We're going to try and get this Giga. It's a level 90 R Giga. It's just down this beach. I've pretty much got everything I need, I believe. We'll find out when we get closer to the Giga, I suppose. I've got a net gun to net it. And then we're going to chuck some dinosaur gateways down to trap it. Hopefully, I, I don't know. I haven't actually used the net gun before to to trap a Giga and then use the gates to trap it. So I'm hoping that this works and that I'm not going to get absolutely brutalized and destroyed. I am doing this naked, which is probably not my smartest or brightest moment. But hey, we're here. We're doing it. We're going to try and get ourselves a Giga here. And then hopefully are you following this, we should be able to go ahead and um, tame on the world bosses. No, that's a stone. I thought that was a dead Giga. Um, there he is there. Or she. I don't know which one it is. It's a female. All right, sweet. So yeah, it's got 11 points in melee damage. It's obviously not the greatest, but hey, there's not much we can do about it. All right, let's try and get this thing trapped. Oh, fuck. Did I not hit it? Do net guns not work on gigas? Well. <laughs> well, that answers that question, eh? Um, yeah, okay. So, Gigas obviously can't be netted. I was doing... Yeah, there was nothing... I, I wasn't doing that wrong. Alright, so Gigas obviously can't be netted. Um, that must have been patched out, because I'm assuming that they... were able to recently. <laughs> so now I feel dumb. Alright, uh, I might need to go back to base and make some bear traps. Uh, it helps if I can spell. Trap, trap, trap. Yeah. Let me go back to base. We're going to make some bear traps up. I uh, was fully under the impression that we could net gun that. I am not even lying. So, uh, give me one sec. We'll, we'll be right back. You know what? Let's just do this. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Round two. Uh, in all honesty, I just realized we could probably trank it doing it like this on the back of our Desmodus. Because, like... Why not, right? Like, we can use weapons on the back of the Desmodus. It's obviously going to be easier if we trap it, so I think I'll just go ahead and trap it. Oh, God. Give me control. All right, here it comes. I did make an extra gateway, but I forgot to bring it, so we're stuck here with three. Where did you go? Are you, are you literally stuck on the tree? It's just attacking something else. Did I get my field hawk? Oh, we're lagging. Yeah, I did get my field hawk. Alright, come on, big guy. Big girl, I should say. Come on up. Come here. Come give me a love tap. Please don't. I really don't want a love tap. Alright, she's stuck. I'm gonna have to try and. Ooh. Alright, I'm thinking she should be stuck in that. Alright, she looks... A little loose? Smidgen bit of a looseness? Uh, we might lose our Tismodus here. But I think she's stuck. I think she just has a super large hit range. 
And that's why we, I swear to God, these des, these Fjord Hawks, they are game changers. I swear, they are just so good. Although our one is looking very bloody at the moment. And I probably shouldn't be running this without any armor. But hey, here we are doing what we do best. Dying miserably. All right, let's get back over to this Giga. I'm hoping that it's trapped and it's not munching on our Desmodus as I speak. Because, I mean, we have lots of other Desmoduses. I've been breeding Isabella and Vlad nonstop. Literally, we've got like about 20 demon bat babies. So I'm going to be super stoked when we've got an army of Desmoduses all tamed up. But let's see if she's stuck here. Nope. Judging by that death message, I would wager she's not stuck. Cool. She just took a dump on our dead Desmodus. Um, game plan two. This has gone much worse than I anticipated. I should have really just gotten that extra... Should have really just gotten that extra, whatchamacallit, uh, dinosaur gateway. So we're going to head back. I don't know if I can pick that up from here. I doubt it, right? Like, what are the chances? Like, I doubt there's no way I hit. I can pick that up from there, right? Let's see if I can do it before. I'm just dipping. We'll just do this. Oh, is it going to take me? We're going to do that. I don't think I can pick up the bear traps. That's fine. All right. Well, round three. Third time's the charm, right? It's got to work. Surely. Surely it'll work, right? Here's, here's hoping. So we're at Tyranimo. All righty, guys. Here we go. Third time has got to be the charm, right? Surely this will work this time, right? No doubts whatsoever. I'm surprised that the net gun didn't actually work on it, to be honest. I was fully expecting the net gun to work. All right. Come on, big fella. Oh, keeps calling it a he. Come on. Come on. I should probably back up here because it's going to just munch me. Straight in the trap. Oh, you were so close. You were so close. You had it. And then you stopped. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> oh, God. Of course. And now it's aggroed. <laughs> Are you serious? How annoying. God damn it. Of course. Bro, come over here. Are you just going to stand there munching the traps? Fuck's sake. All right, well, I guess I'll just start shooting it. Okay, got it in the trap, hopefully. I think it's stuck. I don't think it should get out of there. We're just going to sit on the back of our Desmodus anyway, just to make sure. Until it breaks free of the bear trap, but I think it's free anyway. So this guy should be trapped. Oh, all right, now begins the very long, tedious process of knocking it out. I've got plenty of tranks, I've got plenty of arrows, I've got plenty of darts. I've got a, long, a primitive long neck, which kind of sucks, but eh, it's fine what it is. So let's just... Go ahead and start training this thing out. Alrighty, guys. And the Giga is almost knocked out. Another 1k Torpor. And we are good to go. So, perfect. I mean, we're almost out of Trank Arrows. But honestly, that's not that big of a deal. Because I didn't even use any of the Long Neck. Oh, fuck. Well, I hit it when I was going down. It's going to lose a little bit of effect in this. But it shouldn't really matter in the long haul. Doesn't matter. We got the Giga knocked out. Perfect. Uh, tell me I've got narcotics on me. Yes, yeah, sweet. All right, we're going to let its torpor just plummet like it normally does, and then... Did it... I think it... Did it only lose 0.6 taming effectiveness from us shooting it? Why is its torpor not going down? What the hell? That's super weird that its torpor isn't dropping. That's really weird. Uh, we've got a sheep here as well. Um... I'm just going to punch it away from the Giga. Just to make sure I don't accidentally hit the Giga in the process. And then we're going to kill it with the Desmodus because we're going to use the Sanguine Alexa. His Torpor isn't dropping for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not sure why its Torpor is not dropping. That's a bit weird. I'm not sure why the torpor isn't... Oh, here we go. Now it's dropping. Okay, maybe it just had a little, needed a little bit of a kickstart. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any mudden off of that either. From the Desmodus. Does he not harvest mudden? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. We'll use the Sanguine Alexa and we'll just get some prime meat or something. Or we'll go looking for a Novus or something like that. We're just going to let the torpor drop. Actually, you know what? 
And you know what? While we're here, I'm also going to tame up this female tech parasaur. I need some tech creatures so that we can breed them so that we get the electronic farm up and running. And what better thingy than a female parasaur right here and now? Where's my long neck at? Did I not? I was going to say, did I not bring the darts? All right, guys, here we go. Giga is at 64%. So let's chug the sanguine Alexa. Let's find out. I don't think it's going to tame up all the way. I think we're going to need to wait. And I wanted to see... Let's do it now. Okay, its food doesn't actually go up. And that worked. 94.9%. Awesome. All right, so one more bite, and we'll have ourselves our very own R Giga. What we'll do is... I don't have any organic polymer to commit seppuku, so we're just going to have to go back to one of our beds to fast travel. We'll get back to base, and then we'll get a saddle made up for it. I don't even know if... I'm actually not high enough level. I want to see if I can get someone to make a Giga saddle for me, and then uh, we'll get a Giga saddle on it and get it up and around. And there we go. We have ourselves in our Giga. Beautiful. 134. How much melee damage did she come out with? 110. It's not the greatest. It's not the greatest, but nonetheless, it should be enough to defeat a world boss, I'm thinking. 15k health. Also not the highest amount of health. Obviously, 17k you can get. I mean, it fully depends on the wild stats of the Giga itself. But, I mean, I'm happy with that. When I get a... Oh, actually, we don't need a saddle for it for a second. We've got someone making one for us. Let's uh, let's jump on the Desmodus here. Let's whistle it to attack the Trilobite. I'm sorry, little dude. I need to test my Giga. 462 damage. Uh, I might need to breed it first before I can use it viably. 462 damage. I mean, it might have been mate boosted, but that's not a lot of damage. Can you go kill that? I don't know if... I mean, I really like the color on the Giga, too. It's like red with blue stripes. I really like that. Um, all right, let's get it to follow us. I'm just guesstimating that these guys are mate boosted, possibly. I'm trying to see if we can find something that's not mate boosted. Hmm. Maybe it's just not that strong. <laughs> just kind of disappointing. Yeah, so it does look like 462 is its max amount of damage. So I might have to just breed it before and get the imprint on it. I'm just going to have to keep an eye out for another male, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to keep an eye out for a male and breed it because 462, our Andrew Sarkis has hit that hard. You know, I mean, granted it hasn't had any extra levels put into it, but I'm stuck inside of you, Trumpet. Uh, she's got nine points. Let's just dump it all in. We'll see how hard she hits now. She got an extra nine points. I need my Desmodus. Oh, we got, I think we get in the Giga Saddle. Uh, Desmodus, you stuck. Move. There we go. Okay, we have a free Desmodus now. Wonderful. Alright, beautiful. We got the Giga Saddle. Let's chuck it on. All right, we got, we got, she's a beauty. I'm a fan. Let's whistle follow. Why are we, are we still taking torpor? Why is our torpidity rising? This happens every single time I giga, I tame a giga. It's torpor just starts rising randomly. All right. How much we hit for now? 497 is a little better. It's still not like amazing though. Like our Andrew Sarkis is, like I said, hit for just as hard. So I reckon we honestly, maybe, maybe after today, because I did all that farming for whatchamacallit and stuff, maybe I'll just take our Andrew Sarkis against the world boss. Because like, not going to lie, it's a little disappointing. The color on it is really nice. I really like the color. So if we can find a male and breed them, then wonderful, great. Desmodus, you come and mate. We can do that and then we can imprint on the offspring and obviously just destroy everything and anything. So let's just try and save. There we go. No, nope, Desmodus, you you stuck, fam? You wanna you wanna come over here? There we go. All right, cool. Let's get back to base. We'll test it out at base. I get. I mean, I might try and level it up a little bit more. Do I want any of this? Yeah. Desmodus, you're killing me. There we go. All right, let's get back to base and we'll see what we can do. 
Alrighty guys, after a few levels, we're hitting for just under 600 health, uh, 600 damage. I reckon he's pretty good. I uh, probably shouldn't chosen to fight these Kentros. But yeah, I'm, I'm reckoning that's that's a solid amount of damage. Obviously, it's nothing compared to like imprinting a Giga and whatnot. But uh, it doesn't mean we can't use this one to go fight stuff. So, I mean, I'm going to let it recover. We're going to give it some health back and whatnot. And honestly, I reckon we could probably tackle a world boss. I'm thinking we could probably tackle Baylor, the bee. I reckon we could 100% kill her with a Giga and probably like an Andrew Sarkis. So honestly, I think we'll give that a shot next episode. But uh, for now, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Naked taming a Giga on the beach. you got to love to see it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.